You'll be familiar with the Moon Swatch, where the Swatch Group produced a bioceramic and far cheaper look-alike watch to their more prestigious Omega Speedmaster. The result has been a sellout of the Moon Swatch during its first production run and a 50% increase in sales of the Omega Speedmaster. The Swatch Group were not the first company to think of this idea because Casio has been producing look-alike watches to their G-Shock range for years. So let's now take a look at 10 Casio watches that look like G-Shocks. So why would Casio produce watches that look like G-Shocks? Surely it would take away sales from the more expensive G-Shock range. Well, both brands are owned by the Casio Computer Corporation. And if a customer was unable to buy a G-Shock model for whatever reason, they would rather the customer buys an alternative from or within the group rather than go to a competitor. Of course, the lower price point means that you're not going to get all the features present in the G-Shock range, such as the toughness and the 200 meters of water resistance, but at least the customer stays within the Casio ecosystem and who knows, they may end up purchasing a G-Shock in the future. So in no particular order, let's take a look at 10 Casio watches that look like G-Shocks. Ten is the GW9500 Mudman, and the Casio lookalike is the PRG270. The GW9500 is built to withstand mud, has multiband 6 atomic timekeeping, world time, tough solar, alarm with an hourly signal, triple sensor which includes a barometer, compass, and altimeter, a white LED backlight, and retails for 300 US dollars. For less than half the price, the PRG270 is the Casio lookalike. You lose the mud resist and multiband 6 features, but you still get tough solar. 5 alarms with an hourly time signal, the triple sensor, white LED backlight, and world time. Nine, the G-Shock DW6900 and the Casio lookalike is the W735H. The DW6900 features a stopwatch and countdown timer. A backlight which is either EL or LED depending on the model. Alarm with hourly time signal and flash alerts. It retails for around $100 depending upon the variant. For around a quarter of the price of the DW6900, you can get the Casio W735H. Even though it has a lesser price, it gives you more features that are not present on the DW6900. You get an alarm with hourly time signal. And the alarm also has a vibration function. A stopwatch and countdown timer. Dual time, LED backlight and a 10-year battery. Eight, the G-Shock DW5600E and the Casio lookalike is the W218H. The DW5600E is probably the cheapest way to get into G-Shock ownership and can be purchased for under 50 US dollars. For this price you get the essence of G-Shock which is the 200 meters of water resistance and the tough build quality. Other features include a stopwatch, countdown timer, alarm and hourly signal and a flash alert feature. It's also one of the last few G-Shocks still being made which has an electroluminescent backlight. Even though the DW5600E is not expensive, its Casio lookalike is even cheaper. The W218H costs around 16 US dollars. Its features include an alarm with hourly time signal, an amber coloured LED backlight and 50 meters of water resistance. Owners of this watch have reported it to be very durable and its large size fonts makes it easy to read. It beats the G-Shock in one area which is battery life. This watch comes with a 7 year battery, whereas the G-Shock comes with 2. Seven, The G-Shock GA700 and its Casio lookalike is the HDC700. Not only do these watches look similar, but with the similar naming conventions, it feels as if Casio is pitching the Casio as a direct competitor to the G-Shock. The GA700 features world time. It has a stopwatch, 
countdown timer, a white LED backlight, alarm with hourly time signal, and retails for 80 US dollars. Once again, the Casio is far cheaper than the G-Shock and you can pick up an HTC 700 for $35. Despite being cheaper, you still get the same features as in the G-Shock. So you get world time, alarm with an hourly time signal, a stopwatch, countdown timer, and an LED backlight. You also get a telememo function which is not present on the G-Shock and the battery lasts longer at 10 years. Six G-Shock GW56 and the Casio lookalike is the W737H. The GX56 is commonly referred to as the King, as to why I'm not entirely sure, but I presume that it's to do with its large size, which measures 53.6mm in width. The GX56 comes with tough solar, well time, stopwatch, a countdown timer, alarm and hourly signal, and it also has an EL backlight. It is also built to be mud resistant and retails for $160. The W737H is not as large as the massive King G-Shock. It's still quite large at nearly 46mm in width, but it does mean that people with a smaller wrist size will be able to wear the watch. It misses out on the tough solo feature, but it does have a 10 year battery to compensate. Other features include dual time, a stopwatch, countdown timer, alarm with an hourly signal, and an amber colored LED backlight. The W737H retails for about $21. Five G-Shock GBT800 and the Casio lookalike is the TRT110H. The GBD800 is Bluetooth enabled and its functions can be controlled from your smartphone via the Casio Watches app. It also comes with a step counter, a stopwatch, a countdown timer, five alarms with hourly signal, and a white super illuminator backlight. The retail price is around $90. The TRT110 has a tough design to withstand mud and comes with a 10 year battery. It also features dual time, a stopwatch, a countdown timer, daily alarm with an hourly time signal and you have the option for this to vibrate. It also has a white super illuminator LED backlight just like on the G-Shock. The retail price is around $30. For G-Shock GW3000 and the Casio lookalike is the MCW100H. The GW3000 is an aviation style analogue watch with chronograph subdials. Its status as an aviation watch comes from that it's built to withstand high gravitational forces. Other features include tough solar, multiband 6, well time, alarm with an hourly time signal and auto calendar. Unusually, a backlight is missing, but it does feature loomed hands and hour markers, and its price is $250. The MCW100H has pretty much all the features that are present on the G-Shock missing, except for the chronograph. However, it does still retain the sporty aesthetic. Other features include a date window, but not full calendar, and is water resistant to 100 meters. And the retail price is $40. Three G-Shock GW17900 and the Casio lookalike is the WS210H. The GW17900 is a popular G-Shock model that's been on release since 2009. It comes in many different coloured cases and editions, but they all feature Tough Solar and Multiband 6. They also feature a Tide and Moon Graph, have a stopwatch, countdown timer, world time, EL backlight and 5 alarms. The price is around $100. For less than a third of the price, you could get the Casio lookalike, which is a WS210H, and it has almost as many features as the G-Shock. This includes tough solar, tide and moon phase graph, world time, stopwatch, 
countdown timer, LED backlight, and five alarms with an hourly signal. In fact, the WS210H has the most features that I can think of at this price point out of all Casio watches. Two G-Shock GW9500 and the Casio lookalike is the AE1500. The GW9500 is one of the more premium G-Shock watches and it's built in a tough way to survive the outdoor survivalist environment. It is mud resistant and features a built-in compass, thermometer and barometer. It also has Tough Solar, Multiband 6, World Time, Alarm with hourly signal, a super illuminator backlight, stopwatch, a countdown timer and it can also display sundown and sunrise times. The price is around $270. The Casio AE1500 has a passing resemblance to the GW9500, or at least it does if you squint your eyes and use your imagination. I think that's one of the biggest compliments that a $22 basic Casio can receive. Don't expect the survivalist technology that's present on the G-Shock to be also on this watch, but you do get a 10 year battery, dual time, stopwatch and countdown timer, LED backlight, alarm with an hourly signal and 100 meters of water resistance. Being fair, these features would be enough for most people given a normal situation. One G-Shock G100 and the Casio lookalike is the AQS 810W. The G100 would suit those working near strong magnets due to its being shielded from strong magnetic properties. The Anadigi watch comes with a daily alarm, a stopwatch, EL backlight and Neo bright hands and has a full auto calendar. It also comes with dual time and you can pick up a G100 for about $65. The Casio AQS810 Anadigi offers great value considering the features that it comes with. You get Tough Solar, World Time, Stopwatch and Countdown Timer, Alarm with an hourly signal and an LED backlight. It also has 100 meters of water resistance and is often sold for under 40 US dollars. Thank you for watching folks. Let me know if there's any that I missed out and I'll make a part two. So until next time, see ya!